So Carly, in this video, I want to tell a story um, that's going to set up the next sort of section of, um, of our content here. And this is a, a story from the Yongloo people up in Arnhem Land. And it's the story of two young brothers that were out fishing at sea. And while they were out fishing, they were actually hit by a very large storm all of a sudden. So they were out in monsoon season, they were out far too, um, far, too far out to be fishing at that time of year. And they began to quickly sort of paddle their canoe back to shore, but were very quickly overwhelmed by the crashing waves and their, their canoe actually capsized. Now the oldest of these two brothers, uh, Nuruguya Miri, uh, was a very strong swimmer, but he also knew that his younger brother, Napiranbiru, uh, was not very good of a swimmer. And so very quickly after their boat had capsized, uh, Napiranbiru was struggling beneath the waves. Mm. And so his brother then um, swam under the waves and he began to, to help his brother to, to survive. And, and as he'd done so, as he rescued his brother, he actually lost his own life in the process. So once the storm had passed, the uh, sort of capsized canoe uh, and the youngest brother sort of washed up on shore. And the people saw this and so they began rushing down to the shoreline to, to help Napiran Biru. Um, who was unwell but alive and, and, and sort of just a little bit unconscious. Um, and then shortly after that, the eldest brother's lifeless body actually washed up on shore. Now, when he came through, Napiran Biru uh, told the people um, of his eldest brother's sort of heroics. And then later that day, the community held a ceremony to honor uh, Nuruguru Miri's uh, sort of heroics and, and his sort of sacrifice for his brother. Now, according to this story, uh, later that night, a bright new shining star appeared in the sky. And what this said to the people was that uh, Muru Guyamiri was safe. He was with the ancestors. It was him sending his message to say that he'd safely passed on and, and was with the ancestors. And then after living a, a long and full life, uh, that he was able to live because of his brother's heroics, Napiran Biru then asked those spirit ancestors if he could be placed in the sky beside his brother. And we can now see them um, in the Milnguya or the Milky Way. Um, and they're actually two stars side by side in the constellation Scorpio. And these are the stars um, Sheila and Lisath, and they actually make up the sort of the stinger end of the pointy tail of the scorpion. And, um, and we can actually see those in the sky, and they're, um, they're a really good indicator of this story. Sure. So, like other stories, other Indigenous stories that we've learnt about, this one in particular has many different layers uh, and it has different functions like we've, we've kind of seen. Uh, it talks about the important values, right, that we bring to our community. Um, love and support and kindness and sacrifice. It also serves as a bit of a warning, this story. So, um, you know, a warning not to fish too far out, uh, but also a warning of monsoon times. So, as you mentioned, there are these two indicators, these two stars, um, Sheila and Lissath, and those two stars begin to appear at the start of monsoon season, uh, acting as these, these indicators for that, that period of severe weather. Yeah, but a, a very minute detail of this story that might be overlooked by some, particularly those of us that aren't astrophysicists, is this idea of this bright new shining star that appeared in the sky. And what this may indicate is something, uh, an astrophysical phenomenon that we call supernova. And that's what I want to explore in this next video.